that was Mayor Dodic unveiling the plaque at officially opening CASA. Now this is a new art center in Lethbridge, 20 years in the making. How does it feel to finally be able to open the doors? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It, it is a project that's been in the making, as you said, for many, many years. And there were different plans as the years went by, but we finally landed one uh, on this one. And I think it's an amazing facility. I think it's going to serve the, the community well uh, mm -hmm. for decades to come. Mm -hmm. And it is really an amazing facility. We got a chance to check it out. CASA is opening and the city has decided to demolish another building. We talk about this building a lot, the atrium building. What has council finally decided? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, that one has been there for dec decades without any uh, real activity on it. Uh, we had given a demolition order uh, earlier uh, this year and we're now in a process of sending out tenders uh, to have it demolished uh, and then at some point in time, uh, hopefully by the end of June, we will have the demolition tenders uh, in hand and we'll make a decision whether or not we will tear it down. Okay, great. Now also last week was a long week for you guys, budget talks. Lots and lots to talk about here, but maybe you can just give us your final thoughts on how uh, the budget turned out. Okay, actually I think it went very well. Uh, we had almost uh, 400 million dollars of projects that mm. people would like to have built, but we only had about uh, less than 70 million to do it. But I'm pleased to say that the Aquatic Center is a project that has been approved and that's a component of the Leisure Center that will be going on to the west side, which will fit in nicely with the Twin Ice Complex, wow. the Curling Center, and hopefully in, at some point in the future uh, some additional uh, mo uh, components to the Leisure Center. Uh, we're also maintaining a number of uh, pro, uh, city assets like, such as the Yates uh, Center. We're also uh, fixing Henderson Lake Pool and there will be air conditioning in the NMAX sooner rather than later. Uh, oh, well, hey, there we go. I didn't know there wasn't air conditioning in the NMAX. That's interesting. Okay, so there's lots of exciting things to look forward to, Lethbridge. Now, big, announce this, this big announcement this morning. You have decided and officially said that you're not going to run for re-election in the fall. Um, why did you come to that decision? You know, it was a, it was a, it was a tough decision you know I look back and uh, realized I've been on council for almost nine years yeah. I appreciate it's only one term as mayor mm -hmm. but after nine years uh, I thought it was time to uh, step down spend more time with my family mm -hmm. and of course uh, it, you know it didn't uh, hurt that uh, my daughter has announced that she will be giving a birth to our first grandchild oh. right about the time of the uh, election wow. so uh, my wife has pretty well tell me uh, told me that we're gonna be spending a lot of times <laughs> with this grandchild so that did factor yes. in but the, the re I've enjoyed enjoyed my stint as mayor, as mm -hmm. uh, alderman. Uh, I'm impressed and happy of all the things that have gone on in the city, all the community projects, the volunteerism, everything about the city has been great over the last nine years in terms of it moving forward. Uh, I'm sad to say that I will mm -hmm. uh, not be running for election, but I'm, I'm happy to say that I know the city will be in good hands. Yes, well, congratulations on Thank that. You. Really exciting news. <laughs> now, we will have a few more interviews with you, re council recaps, so we'll see you again. And if you do want to catch the city council meetings, we are them every other Monday right here on Shaw TV.